Hello and welcome back to Money Mentor channel where today we're going to look at M&G. So M&G are a UK based um, savings and investment business currently sitting in the FTSE 100 uh, with a market cap of 5.6 billion and an enterprise value of 8.4. So carrying a couple of billion pounds of debt on the books by the look of it. Um, as always, look using the Stockopedia metrics, please uh, take a look at the banner that appears in the right hand side of the screen if you want to try two weeks for free, uh, see how you get on with the software. Uh, but the stock rank metric for this one is 68, so not particularly exciting, uh, albeit uh, our class is a good value uh, company with a 93 score there. Right, if we have a look at the uh, easy to follow visual, we can see that um, although up over, overall on the year from 184 up to 216, it has really had a bit of a downward um, slide since the early part of the summer right through to late uh, right through to late autumn. Um, just beginning to pick up again from December um, from the last month or so. Uh, but even so, the pickup hasn't recovered the full price for the whole year and we are still 15% below the 52 week high uh, in that basis. As we said before, decent value. So the price earnings metric here of 9.9 .9 is, is uh, considered favourable for the industry and the market. And we've actually got a dividend yield of nearly 9%. So absolutely huge dividend yield uh, on this one, which will be worth taking a look at in more detail a bit later. Looking on the quality, not such a good quality business, actually. Uh, right at the bottom end of the uh, spectrum on the industry at 0.9 and 1.2 on capital and equity and an operating margin of 9.9 so just about 10 percent health score of f uh, 5 isn't particularly uh, outstanding by any stretch of the imagination and if we take a look at the revenue uh, i'm not sure what happened in 2018 there i'm sure that they did something it's probably a timing issue but we can see that the revenue is actually on a downward basis generally a downward trend uh, if we take a look at net profits so mm, quite lumpy as well Decent results, 16, 17 and 19 and 20, but then nothing in 18 and the trailing 12 months and the, and the full 21 earnings or estimated figure a lot lower. So I don't know, again, if there's timing issues with the notification and publication of their accounts. But even looking forward to 2022 estimate, it's still significantly down on uh, what had been reported before. Uh, if we do now move on to the dividends, um, we can see a very strong dividend payer. Uh, historically in the 8%, so a real cracking dividend pair there. Uh, could afford it quite comfortably in 2020, but the trailing 12 months of 0.1 means that they can't afford it. So I suspect there's probably some timing issue, as we said before there. Uh, both 21 and 22, they're still promising an, a plus, an 8 plus dividend, um, albeit uh, the uh, dividend cover is only 1.2 or 1.15, which is very, very tight. So just be aware they could easily uh, reduce that um, on the, the metrics we are looking at here today. Taking a quick look at the debt, we can see they do have 2.8 billion sat on the books in debt. The average shares looks fairly flat, marginally lower, so it looks like there's a slightly downward trend, so they are making a buyback, uh, which is good news. You get a little bit more bang for your buck with your shares. Um, share Your earnings per share is not being diluted in any way. Uh, and if we fi fi finish on the analysis consensus, we can see 14 brokers are covering it. They've just moved marginally more positive from three months ago towards a buy. We're not quite at a buy yet. They're undecided as to whether to hold or buy. And if we take a look at the estimated price target of 237, it's just under 10% above where it is um, at the moment. So what, what do you guys think? Uh, do you think there's any upside in M&G? Would you be willing to buy it? Or are you a long-term shareholder who's not really had a return for the last year, albeit has enjoyed nearly 9% of dividends? Do let us know in the uh, comments box below. And if you haven't already uh, subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the button where you'll be notified as and when we release further videos in this series. And as always, thanks very much for watching and listening. And please feel free to leave a thumbs up or comment as you wish.